previously on the European LCS. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Fnatic take game one of the European 2014 season. Copenhagen Wolf going huge in the very first game of the LCS. Absolute fantastic stuff for game one for Rocket. They do take down their fellow qualifiers, super hot crew. Look at the Nexus, he's going to go down. The Natic pick up their second win of the day. And unfortunately for Alliance, it's their second loss today. Woo! I'm really happy to be back. Yeah, I miss being on the big stage. I want to play and want to win. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to day two of the European LCS. I'm Joe Miller here with Trevor Quickshot Henry, and we're coming to you live from our LCS studio in Cologne, Germany. We're right in the middle of the first Super Week of the 2014 European LCS season, and that means we'll be bringing you five more big games today. Yeah, that is correct. And a very quick reminder that after this, the EU Challenger Series kicks off immediately with Cloud9 facing off against Heavy Bot Lane and Team for Nothing versus Tick, Trick, and Duck, you definitely want to stay tuned to watch those matches. Well, first, let's talk about what happened here on day one. After six matches yesterday, there's plenty to discuss. Starting at the top of the table, really, with Fnatic looking incredibly strong. Two for zero they went yesterday, and the new boy, the new AD carry that everyone's been talking about, Reckless, well, he got off to the perfect start as well. He didn't die across both games that they had, really living up to that hype. He played Jinx in both of those and ended at 15 -0 -17 over the two games. Yeah, D-Man introduced him as the Phenom. He's actually gone on record saying he's waited a year for this day, and he played phenomenally. The next big story is, of course, Alliance going 0 and 2. This is the super team that lost both of their matches, and we have to call out Froggen. A little bit shaky yesterday. He went 4-4-6. Four, four, and six. His Gragas ultimates did not pop people the way that we were expecting them to, and I think today, in this first match, he's going to have to step up his game. We also had a lot of unique picks yesterday, and, and bans for that matter. I mean, 31 unique champions picked across the uh, first day, with 17 unique champions banned as well. If you look at the most picked, Lucian five times, Vi, Thresh, Renekton, and Shivana all picked four times apiece. Yes, yeah, super popular picks right now, definitely sitting in the European meta. The one thing we're not noticing is Sivir at all. Notting, and the reason I highlight her is that she's still very popular over in OG and over in Korea. So the, the European ADs definitely favoring the Lucian and the Jinx, especially Reckless, the way he's played with her. In terms of the bands, Cassidy, who would have uh, really thought yeah. otherwise <laughs> from that one? And the new guy, Yasuo, both banned five times apiece. And then Annie and Elise, two very strong, uh, strong champions right now as well, banned four times each. Yeah, the versatility and the power that all of those picks offer are very, very scary. Because our region is very mid lane focused, and we've got a lot of hard carries in that regard. That's why we're seeing so many targeted yep. bans from Yasuo. He only missed one game yesterday, and that was between Super Hot Crew and Rocket. And it leads me to believe that out of the eight teams in the LCS, those are the only two that are not practicing him or not playing with him. But what it does mean is that it adds extra pressure to them to ban him out, like in this first game we're going to see today. Well, we'll undoubtedly see him at some point today, yeah. whether that's in the bands or hopefully for us at least in the picks as well. Now as we head into day two, let's take a quick look at the table and see where the teams currently stand. As I mentioned earlier, it's Fnatic that are in the first place position with two wins and no losses coming out of day one. Millennium and Rockout are then both tied in second with one win apiece. They're then followed by the Copenhagen Wolves and Gambit who are sat at one win and one loss tied up for third. Yeah, still another tie in Europe who would have significantly guess that one. Uh, in fourth position this time is SK Gaming and Super Hot Crew. They've only got one loss apiece. And in last position, we have Alliance. We've talked about extensively. They suffered both of their losses there today. I don't think anybody expected them at the bottom of the table after day one. No, definitely a bit of a surprise, I think, for us. But that could change here because we have five more games coming your way today. Starting off with Alliance, they'll be taking off the new boys Super Hot Crew. Then we'll move on to El Clasico with Fnatic versus SK Gaming. 
Then, game number three, Millennium versus Gambit. Yeah, the second half of the day will feature the Copenhagen Wolves, this time taking on SK Gaming with Rocket versus Millennium as the final match of the day. And hopefully it's a little faster pace than game six yesterday. <laughs> I've got no comment about that one. <laughs> a win's a win, as they say. As always, guys, we'd like to know what you think at home and who you think is going to be victorious today. So head over to lollysports.com and cast your votes there. All you have to do is click on schedule near the top of the page then give a thumbs up to your picks. We'll be checking in throughout today's games to see how those votes are stacking up. Yeah, make sure while you're there, we'd like to invite you guys to join us here in the studio and actually see these games happen live sitting right behind us. Just click on the tickets button for all of the information. We also want to know what you have to say on Twitter. So be sure to follow at Loll Esports. And today we want you to tell us who is your dark horse team and why. I'm sticking with my answer from yesterday like I gave to D-Man. Copenhagen Wolves, they beat Alliance. They did lose to Gambit, but I think they've learned from their mistakes. I know uh, we've been talking to some of the players and they broke it down. I think they've, they're in for a shot at surprising again this season. For you guys at home, make sure you tag your responses. Use that hashtag LCS, and we'll actually be reading some of your responses on air later in the show. Now, let's things over to Shocks and Demon, who are standing by with N-Rated from SK Gaming. Thank you very much, Joe. I'm Efi Shock Supporter, and I am joined by Lee Demon Smith and N Rated from SK Gaming. Very happy to be here on day two with you guys. And of course, we got to start off by your first game yesterday in the LCS with SK Gaming. Not the hoped result, I think, but what did you take from that? What did you talk about with the team? Well, it was our first official game as a team. I was just recently joining the roster, so we are like not the most like stable roster that has come into this LCS. I think we have to take like the mistakes that we did early. We gave them a huge lead, and but we managed to turn it out very, very long, which was good. I think we just need to be able to control our early a lot more, and if we manage to do that, we will be able to f win f games pretty fast. And have you guys actually worked on that over the night? Obviously worked on how to get yourself into that game a lot earlier, because Millennium were using so much vision to get themselves set up that you guys just didn't seem to have a counter to it. Well, we didn't really have an answer there because they just were like overwhelmingly strong at a certain point because they were so far ahead. And our only answer was basically to give up objective one by one, but don't give them like the hugest lead, like give them more than they're supposed to have. And we just stood in our base and waited for a certain point where we are like almost mm. equal or equal. And this, we almost hit that point in the end and the team fight could have gone either way, but they played better than us, at least in that team fight for sure. And so they won the game. Yeah, in the end, they just manned up and ended it. Uh, and it was a long day yesterday, a fun day filled with games. Is there anything that you take away from yesterday, some trends that you see that were kind of surprising to you? Uh, I guess every team can beat every team. The only point that you need to see is that some champions are very, very strong. And if you play them out right, you can get an advantage over your enemy very easily. And as long as people care about comps and the way they play it, I think everyone can beat everyone. And what do you think of the support picks that have been coming out? Obviously, there's been a bit of variation. Good old Edward pulling out Kennen yesterday. Something we're going to see from you today, maybe? <laughs> well, they're pretty unorthodox picks right now since supports just generally have more gold in this mm. meta right now. I think it's, it depends. It depends on the situation, what you're facing and what you want to play. There are general picks that are stronger than others, like... I mean, any Trash and Leona right now are a bit outstanding of the other supports, but for example, Nami is a very uncommon pick, but has like a lot of CC prepared, and he just has a lot in the kit that she can use to dominate the lane as well. So I think we will see more picks and more different picks coming up in the next matches, and I'm looking forward to see more. And talking about those upcoming matches today, of course, a very important game for you, the first one coming up. As you go up against Fnatic, your ex-team, how are you generally going into that one? Is that, is that all good feelings? or? Um, yeah, it's a bit tense, for me at least. Uh, I really want to win this match, and we're prepared, and we're ready, and we just want to show what we are made of, and not like yesterday, where we just struggled to be in the game for a long, long time. Oh, thank you very much and good luck in that matchup later on. And now we need to take a quick break for a moment, but when we return, the super hot crew looks to take on Froggen's Alliance. Don't go anywhere. Day two of the European LCS is just moments away.